and later taken to jail. Why are, are you ready for this? Putting this on us. I think they should cut it out now because this ain't gonna solve the problem. I told you I, don't I came to bring the pain hardcore to the brain. This show contains graphic depictions, faceless painting, and real life accounts of the most nefarious of activities. Yea, though they do try to project themselves as upstanding, productive members of society, these two knuckleheads just ain't worth a damn. If any of you should find this show to be offensive, turn it over and stop being such a vagina. Greetings, Earthlings. Greetings, Earthlings. All right, bro. What's happening with you? What you hey, doing man, over there? <clears throat> hey, you know, I'm doing all right. Trying to get my um headphones to work proper like. Oh, okay. Yeah, you look like you were uh, yeah. concerned with some preconceived emotions. And yeah, it's emotions. cool. Hold up. Look, I'm going to have to yell. <clears throat> Everybody bear with me. <clears throat> okay, see, I'm better now. What you got, Tourette's? No, dude. Like, seriously, that makes the headphones work. For some reason, like, if I... <laughs> So we can't rent a car. All right, dude. Well, then... Oh, he doesn't have a driver's license. Oh, uh, Jesus. Don't R. Kelly, bro. I mean, fucking bus line, maybe? Like, Uber? Uber! Yeah, something. Jeez, dude. Get in where you fit in. Yeah, man, yeah. And yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, bro. You over there doing that shit... For like a living for yeah. money, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just no, want to no. put this out there. I'm focused. I want to get rid of money. How about that? I've said it before, bro. Like it's not backed by the gold standard, which means it's worth nothing. It loses value over time. Yeah. Um, the electronic myth, right? It gets a pot deposited electronically. You spend it electronically. You never see it. It's poof. It's gone. Right. It is. It's so. That's, it's a fickle. It's a. It's. It's the thing that society revolves around. It's the thing that mankind chases, and it's just fucking meaningless and worthless horrible and um frankly i think we should go back to the barter system how about that i 100 percent down bro you remember my most favorite instance of the barter system in my life is when i pulled up the taco bell you were there bro i pulled up the taco bell handled that dude handled that dude uh, a blunt roach and he gave us like a fucking Walmart bag full of Taco Bell. It was a glorious moment in my adolescence. And it was fucking so convenient because we had a house full of people waiting for Taco Bell. Yeah, it was nice. Save this uh, pretty penny that Buku night. Buku dollars, bro. Well, and you know, uh, $22 was a lot in that yeah, day. Yeah, exactly. Do you remember at that same Taco Bell getting bum-rushed? Yeah, by a homeless gentleman, if yeah. I don't recall. We're yeah. sitting in the drive through waiting for our order, and this homeless guy comes up and just starts, I don't even know, bro. He was banging on the hood like, yeah. it was crazy as fuck. I'm I like... I think he was harassing. I think we were just in between him and the person that was working the window at Taco Bell. Could be. Because I, I recall the person at the window uh, at, at Taco Bell being like, oh my God, I can't believe he saw me again or something like that. That dude was definitely homeless though, right? I mean, He, he was shirtless, that's for damn sure. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. And I should have been pissed, I would think, because he was like banging on my hood, but my truck was already beat up and I was like drunk, so I was laughing. Yeah. That was hilarious. That was yeah, good days, yeah. good days, good days. Excellent days, man. I love the 90s. Um, bruh. You, um, we had talked about this before. Are you uh, reading any books right now? Man, I am not. Um, I, re I say that regretfully because I, um, you know, I don't read as much, and I'm not even listening to any audio books, which is a fucking shame. You ain't illiterate, are you? Yeah, no, I know how to read. I also know how to listen, which is craziness. Um, <clears throat> honestly, bro, I'm just crazy busy these days. Like, yeah, there's yeah. not a lot of time for me to fucking squeeze that in. I, um, as you can fucking see. Right, right, right. I still try to uh, always be reading something. I was reading, like I told you, Pizza by the B-Boys. Yeah, yeah. The BC Boys. But uh, I had to put it down because I found a book in the free section at... Um, Second and Charles is the name of that store. Second and Charles. I don't know if you're familiar. Mm -mm, I'm not. It's huge, bro. They got t-shirts, books, uh, records, all kinds of shit. But they got a bin outside, and it just says free. I don't know where this stuff comes from. Mm -hmm. but People it's just full. donate that shit. Yeah. It's full, dude. I, I picked up like a few cassette tapes of some 
mystery shit that I'm going to play at my house later to figure out what it is. And I picked up this book called Hydra Head. It was written in 1977, turned into a movie, and it had like all the greats from shit. 50s and 60s. Such as like La, the uh, Lauren Bacalls. And... No, yeah, like that era, but like Sidney Greenstreet, Peter Lore, um, typically film noir and um, gangster flick type people. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, awesome, it's turning bro. out to be good, bro. So far, so good. So. No shit. You've always been into that old school shit, bro. I never. I never could get into it. I really. I, I have a hard time, like. Re- First of all, I have a hard time. I'm, I'm sure I've spoken on this. I have a hard time sitting down for a movie anyway. Like sure, yeah, me too. Like it's it's re- it's got to be a damn good movie. Yeah, or, you know, or at least in my mind, you know. Um, like we, what was the, we recently went to the movie theater? Like this is how much of a stretch it is for me to, uh, to to go to the movies. Right. So, Dave, you told me the story. You shared this beautiful story earlier with me today about about your anniversary, you and your wife's anniversary, and how you you painstakingly and and just so so thoughtfully and well planned your your gift for your wife, uh, your beautiful wife, and you know how you know the dynamics of right, relationships. Right, right. Yeah. Um, and I was just blown away. I was like, "Holy shit, dude!" Well, I mean, you're like ridiculously thoughtful, and like, I don't, I can't even compete. I don't even want to compete. Like, I just don't have that in me. I, I don't want. I can't, like that's you try way harder than I'm willing to try. So you're lacking in patience, is what you're saying. Whatever you just, yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna, yep, yeah, sure, thumbs up. <clears throat> um, so, uh, with that being said, um. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. You lack impatience. Um, I don't think that you're not a thoughtless dude, but maybe you just don't have the patience to like come up with a gift that you have yeah, to make or something. I don't know. Or do I anniversary type of shit. I don't know. Thinking about yeah, we <laughs> was there was something that I was I was trying to. It's difficult when you try to Good story, bro. Yeah, yeah, keep doing that stuff, bro. In the middle of, uh, we, we were talking about uh, books we were reading and shit like that. Ah, that's right. Books that we were reading. Right, right, right. So, I say that to say this. So, I mean, you have, so, I don't even have time, I don't have time to pay attention to my woman, let alone read a book, bitch. So, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Hey, bro, you, get, you better try to stay literate. That's all I know. I, I'm fully literate, dog. I'm about to try to start tracking down this book, and this will interest you, bro. Okay. <clears throat> all right. There's some, there's some guy, um, Elihu, E-L-I-H-U. Okay. Uh, he led class discussions on Tupac's lyrics. There was... I'm sure you remember this. There was a course given on Tupac. Mm, yes. Um, at the University of California in Berkeley and also at Harvard. Yes. And this guy, I don't know if he was leading one of the class discussions as an instructor or he wrote the te- the course text, but I want to track down the course text that studied Tupac's lyrics. I think that would be fire. Okay, what is a course text? Is that um, it's is, whatever you use uh, in the course to to take the class. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's a college class. I hear. I textbook, see. You. I hear you. But it's on studying Tupac's lyrics. Is it an online class or is it an <clears throat> on-campus class? On campus, it was uh, University of California, Berkeley, and at Harvard. Okay, well then, it's. I'm sure you can easily track down whatever textbook they used. But yeah, I just I just started research, and I'm like, you know what? That's the next book I want to read. But I also have in my nightstand waiting to be read a uh, biography of uh, Dr. John. Okay. Yeah. So, shit gets thick. I'm, I hear you. I'm, I'm hear not. You. I'm not relenting on the um, on the reading shit, bro. There's a lot. There's a lot of good stuff out there, bro. Dude, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of books, man. I really always have been. Uh, unfortunately, I, I mean, I really honestly haven't read. Uh, there's just a lot of time that I spent not reading. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of years passed when I didn't pick up a book. 
You should learn to read sometime, bro. It would really benefit I kn- you. I know. Like, I once saw a cat, and, like, I was – there was a girl nearby, and I was like, like, what is that? And she was like, that's a words. cat. And I was trying to, like, draw a picture. I drew a picture. It was beautiful. It looked like a tiger. And she was like, oh, what is that? Can you please um, – and she had, like, this weird, like, accent like she was from um, Impanema or something. It was – like, she was a girl from Impanema. I don't even know. What? Yeah. But so – like, I want I to want learn. To learn. I didn't, and so she was like, is that the El Gato? And I was like, no, it's a cat. And then she was like, I don't understand. You have to spell. And I was like, er, er. That's horrible. Er. You're making fun, but that's terrible. You should learn to read sometime. And when you can't spell cat, (laughs) then you can't get hose. So kids, learn how to spell. The moral of the story is learn how to spell or else you're going to be lonely. Be literate because you ain't going to get no pussy otherwise. For reals. Hey, I wanted to uh, steer the discussion towards Mardi Gras. I know it's way in advance. Um, Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras uh, 2020 is going to be, Fat Tuesday is going to be on February 25th. I don't know if you're prepared oh, or yeah. you're excited or not, but yes. uh, I'm definitely excited. Dude, but. I am ridiculously excited about Mardi Gras. Not only am I fully aware but, yeah, I'm more excited about Mardi Gras this year than I ever have been since I was a child, bro. Um, bro. Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras, yeah. Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras, yeah. Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras. What? And I would like, what? I would like what? to invite what? all of our friends, fans, and family yeah. to the Mardi Gras party. I am hosting the Mardi Gras this year. You just come to New Orleans. It's on me. All okay? y'all, all y'all, reload at five oh four. Everybody, ends. just show up to New Orleans. Just Mardi Gras up. is on the house. But hey, don't show up empty-handed. You hear me? You got, you got to show up with something. Box king of cake, Franzia, king cake, uh, six pack, twelve pack, po cakes. boy. Yeah, some po boys. Maybe a quiche. Finger sandwich. I don't mind quiche. Some shit. Like maybe, maybe like like mushroom quiche. Yeah, um, mushroom quiche, evidently psychedelic, preferably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a long time. Dave said mentioned that he's willing to try uh, mind altering drugs again. True, true, true. All right, look. Uh, this next thing, pay attention, bro. I need you to think of a confession, and okay. I'm, I'm about to confess something. These are my confessions. One more time. One more time. These are my confessions. Beautiful. So, um, yeah, check it out. That was I, beautiful. I already know. My confession. So I'm yeah. going to go ahead and run that down. Okay. For the reloaded 504 ends. So while I'll have an idea of what kind of confession I need to While I'm have. doing that, then yeah, because mine's pretty serious. Okay. Well, I confess to nothing mm. at this moment, but let's hear what you have. Because mm. I have done nothing. Would you mind while I confess giving me a beer? Is that cool? These are Dave's confessions. You got to let me know when you're doing that because I can turn this knob. These are These Dave's, Dave's confessions. confessions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do I sound like Usher bitches? <clears throat> you did just now. These were Dave. Those were Dave's confessions. All right. Um, all right. I'm going to run it down. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to say this, but quite simply... Um, I drank my wife's pee. That's not a confession. That's an admission. Whatever. It's an admission of a confession. All right, do tell. <laughs> That's dope. I like that. I'm into like, I'm dude. If you're into golden showers, I fully into, look. I'm not gonna. Sh- I'm not here to shame people. Like I once. Um, I, I mean, I'm. I'm pretty sure we've all. But what the fuck was that noise? I heard it too. Is my cat alive? Seriously, that didn't. That was yeah. Your cat's. Resting comfortably over there. Dude, is our audio line haunted? Cause it I, might be. I was just about to like say, I was about to talk like some filthy talk, and I know like. We're being haunted. Being haunted. haunted. These haunted. are haunted. Dave's haunted. confessions. Yeah, I don't know. But check it out. This is how it happened, all right? Yo. Look, check it out. Check it out. All that right. It's fucking weird. I'm sitting, it really was. I'm sitting in my garage, which is where I, you know, party. Whatever. Collabo. Fiesta. Forever. Whatever. Fiesta. Forever. There you go. So I'm sitting in there and... Um, Come on and sing along. My wife's hanging out with me. We're bullshitting, having drinks, listening to music, whatnot. Um, 
And some kind of a way, she dares me to do that. I don't know if it's something I said or what. Because the weird coincidence is, it wasn't like but a few I days... See. I see where this is going. It wasn't but like a few days before that, mm-hmm. that a friend of mine admitted to me that he took some chick's pee. It's the old... Let me come all over your face and I'll drink your pee at a later date trick. I know how that works. Dude, I don't even know what to say. Or it's the old, let me stick my whole fist in your ass and I'll let you pee on my face No, usually the way it goes between her and I is I come up with some brash (laughs) statement that's like a profession of my love, but it has nothing to do with love. It's like some crazy stupid shit. I would like to tell you that I love you more than any woman I've ever met in my entire life because I... I'm willing to shove most of my arm inside of your body. Right, 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 right. Something. You know what I'm saying? So um, she hears me say this, and she calls me on. She's and like, she's like, no romantic like, man would ever no, say that. No, you won't. And oh, like, she does that. Yeah, and I was already drunk. I'm like, the fuck I won't. I will I'm shove it in your right whole fucking moment. orifice right now. Right, focus. I wasn't talking about shoving shit and into I love my you. wife's body. Oh, my bad. That was my thing. Let me ask you. Yeah. What are we talking about right now? I don't have a wife. What are we talking about right now? You were getting romantic with your girlfriend. What was said? Your wife. What was said? You were like, hey, baby, I think I love you. No. None of that. Listen to what I'm saying, bro. I am. I'm sitting in there chilling with her. I'm just playing dumb for the audience. She fucking, um, some kind of a way, it turns out that um, I'm about to drink some of her pee. Don't even know how it happened. I think she dared me. After I said, oh, yeah, no problem, or some shit. And she was like, bullshit, do it. And I'm like, all right, go into the house, mix up a shot. Um, yeah, tequila maybe? No, it was uh, bourbon. Ooh. Bourbon, Ooh. Bourbon and pee. And I'm like, whatever. I'm like, at this point, I can't back down, right? No, you it was, can't. It's you a fucking can't. dare, right? And yeah. I'm like, so that's how it went down. Bro. It's not even that. Lo- it's not even that out of the like. It's not too off the wall, bro. It's like your it's wife. Pretty off the and wall. Like you've done everything that you can to like her. Like bodily fluids have been swapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that, but you know, she straight up called me on a dare when I was just being loud and talking. I tell you what, bro. But I wouldn't back down because I was like, I- fuck that. I'm not. I'm not backing down. I yeah. said it. I mean it. And then I was like, oh, well, fuck, you got me. But I, I didn't say it out loud. I have to tell you Whatever. that. Give me that shit. I am proud of you. You've come a long way, Dave, in the last couple of months. Because I recall a time not too long ago when you were afraid to stick your fingers into into a toilet. Um, and now you're drinking bitches pee. So you know uh, what? That's fucking... You just let's Everybody, let's give Dave a fucking round of applause. Can we get some animated round of applause? No, 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 because you just compared my wife's urethra to a public toilet. Look, you know man, what? Look, no man, shots. look, we're no not, shots, bro. look, we're not gonna, we're, we're not gonna, you, you know what you're trying, you know what you're doing? You're I'm, being a millennial. Right. You're trying to turn a mountain into a, a, a molehill into a mountain. I don't even know what you just said. This ain't National Geographic. I don't this even know what you're talking about. This is not about anything. Per- yeah. Hey, this ain't the petting zoo, motherfucker. Hey, look, check this out. The- all right, check out the hook while the DJ revolves it. I'm about to set up shots, boom, bro. Boom, 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 boom. I know. I'm just gonna entertain the people while you are, uh, you know, serving me in the meanwhile. Don't like bum, bum, bum into the fucking mic, bro. Hey, bro. I'm vanilla ice and the people. That dude don't have a career no more because of that. So don't. I do think he's doing did. art these days. All right, I'm almost finished, bro. All right, cool, bro. Try, try to make a little bit more. No, I thought you were gonna pour it in a bowl. Make some soup. Make an ad soup. All right. I got soup. it. But we ain't taking them shots until you confess These your confession. These are my confessions. All right. What? Okay. So what does my confession have to be about? Um. Well, maybe you could Google the definition and start there. I don't. I don't like telling secrets. Like a confession in. First hey, bro, you got to realize, this is like episode 20-something or 30-something, so you got to give him something. Okay, fine. Um, all right. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of confessions, but I can't hear You were myself. supposed to be thinking the whole time I told my story, but you, you kept talking the whole fucking time, bro. I know. You need to, like, yeah. think. 
Give them something good, bro. These are reloaded 504ians, bro. These are our people. These are my confessions. All right, I'd like to confess to the people the time that I was first busted by my family uh, with porn. Oh, really? Does that suffice? Okay. Yeah? Okay. All right. All cool. right. So, so, okay. Excuse my volume issues, but every now and again, my headphones cut out and I have to yell and it kicks them back in. So that's what that was. So anyway, so I am probably the tender young age of 11 or 12, maybe. I don't know. Like, this is pre-high school. So what's, what, what's the age at, like, 12? You're an eighth grader Yeah, about or that. Like that. Yeah. So, like, me and the kids in the neighborhood always kind of, like, took turns building clubhouses, right? Like, so... Of course. So, like, you know, being dudes, we built clubhouses. So, um, it came turn to be uh, my backyard, and we built a clubhouse. And Are we having intruders, bro? You have this, like, menacing look on your face. Out my peripheral, I thought I saw your cat running towards me, and then I look up, and it's still in the same spot. And if you recall a few minutes ago, we LSD. thought we heard a cat on the fucking we did. feedback. Y- you're, you're fucking... Did you slip us both fucking acid, bro? I swear to God, I, I did not, bro. I don't know what's going on. Because, I mean, I'm starting to see, like, tracers a little bit now that you mention it. I'm not even playing, bro. Okay, well, look. Just right. fucking focus, okay? Focus. You're 11 or 12 or something like that. Right, so it's it's time for to build the fucking to build the clubhouse in my backyard, right? Yeah. Whereas normally, so like we're talking about my grandmother's house, which is across the street, which has the pool. So normally like I was a pool dude, like so I didn't have to be the fucking clubhouse dude. Okay. But so this was like late in our adolescence and it was the as a matter of fact, it was the last clubhouse that we ever had. Okay. Um, anyway, so we had this clubhouse, and like I said, it was kind of late in our adolescence, and it was the last one, and so we would always have the porn stash in the clubhouse, right? Like the mandatory, like, of couple of fucking, like, black and white photocopies or Xeroxes, or if you were lucky, like, actual ripouts from magazines that were colored. Whew. Well, I landed on the fucking, the fucking mother load, bro. Like, I landed on, like, a full hustler. Ripped all them shits out. Full pussy exposure. Labia. Y- y- you're gazing over my shoulder, bro, and I'm starting <laughs> to get worried. I just saw a reflection. I didn't know what it this was. This fucking dude has got me spooked. I think so, it was my, my piece and chain, bro. Like, oh, like damn. Your bling your... bling is too bright. It's start- yeah. Whenever your fucking jewelry is distracting you, then... It you... was reflecting off of your fridge. Anyway, go first, ahead, bro. First world problem. Yeah, so, like, we're talking, like, the prime shit, bro. Like, Like, I think there was, like... Fucking penetration and cum shots in these photos. What? Yeah. Like, we're talking, like, wow. So, anyway, dude. Fucking, my family ends up, like, having this wild idea to, like, you know, like, upgrade the backyard, right? Like, adult shit. What the fuck? I don't know what the fuck, right? But they're like, yeah, we're gonna upgrade the backyard and make our pool and backyard look presentable. We're not going to tell Todd about it, but we're just going to tear down the clubhouse and shit. Oh, man, that's fucking harsh. It was dickish, but they realized we were at the age where we were transitioning out of clubhouses and actually, like, looking at real bitches. Either that or they were like, fuck them kids. It was kind of like all of that, but it was definitely in that transitional period. So, you know, basically, long story short, they, they fucking demolished the clubhouse I mean, they did a lot of fucked up shit like that. Like, I had pets, and they would, like, let the pet out and, like, be like, oh, we don't know what happened to Sparky. That's fucked up. Yeah. Like, fucking tough love, bro. Anyway, so so they tore down the clubhouse and found the fucking porn stash. Like, the best porn stash ever, right? Like, pussy lips wide open, dick sliding in and out. It was just yeah. great as, like, a young kid. So were you, t- were you, like, mortified? I didn't even know, right? So I didn't realize, like, that the shit had gone missing, didn't really put two and two together, like, I guess, you know, again, we were as kids more busy, like, out of the backyard than in the backyard, you know what I'm saying, like, right, 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 and plus, yeah, dude, like, at 12, I don't think you could focus on one thing too long, anyway, so I got confronted by my, uh, like, it was, like, literally almost like an intervention type thing, like, sit, <laughs> like a yeah, sit, like a porn intervention well well no but like so like it was a sit down like so hey todd sit down we just you know kind of want to talk about something so like sit down and like family members are like semi surrounding me 
And you're like, hey, you know, we just, you know, we found this. And like, you know, so obviously I'm just like fucking immediately devastated and super embarrassed and like, oh, no, I've never seen, I don't know what you're talking about. That's not mine. You know, like just denial. Yeah. And uh, the first thing that their, their immediate response or my grandma's immediate response, rest in peace, love you. Uh, was no Todd. Don't worry. Don't worry, Todd. Hey, at least we know you're not gay now. And I was like, ah, <laughs> fucking awesome. Hey, bro, the old school's keep it real, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Because you know, I mean, I guess, right? You're 12, 13, right? Like, does a dude like the pussy or does he not like the pussy? So I guess that was the, tr- you know, I, I, yeah. I don't, I didn't know, right? Like, I didn't know if I was supposed. To. Apparently, I was doing the right thing. So. Yeah, do the right thing. Yeah, there was no, there was no reprimand. They were like, yeah, all good, all good. You love the pussy. It's great. That's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, you're a normal kid. You know, hey, there's nothing wrong with being gay. I'm just saying. But. <laughs> all right, man. I could feel that. That was a good story. Those bro. are my confessions. That was your confession. I um. All right, I feel that. I could see where that comes into play. Yeah. At least you didn't get in trouble for it, and at the same time, they were like confirming your um. The love of the vagina. Yeah, yeah. It was it was definitely it was a good moment in parenting. I think they it was like Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did the right thing. Uh, good job, grandma. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. Well, that was a good story, bro. Thank, um thank you, homie. I meant to ask you, uh, what the fuck is going on with all this? I mean, I I, th- I think it's come to pass now, but I wasn't paying attention, so please Fill me in on this chicken sandwich, Popeye's, Chick-fil-A situation. Like, what the... I don't understand. This. Honestly, I don't know. Apparently, ch- uh, apparently, Popeye's was offering some kind of chicken sandwich, and then they took it off the market, and that's all I know. Oh, man. No, there was more to it than that. Like, I they, they were, don't They know. were like chicken sandwich rivals for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Who would you choose between Popeye's and Chick-fil-A? That's a stupid question. That's Chick-fil-A all day, bro. Oh, my God. Fuck you, bro. You, I mean, I'll look you Go dead die, in the eyes, bro. and we can duel. Like, I will take a fuck. I mean, it's simple as this. I can't believe this. you just said that. Dave, it's as simple as this. You can go get a box of Popeyes. I'll go get a box of fucking Chick-fil-A. We can both get on horses and then fucking, like, get in the jousting position. Yeah. And my Chick-fil-A is going to defeat your fucking Popeyes. No, because you're going to have, like, tenders. So everything you hit me with is going to be soft. Oh. My shit's going to have bones. And I'm going to impale you That's with, exactly like, why a fucking chicken leg. Yeah, bro. I don't like your fucking gristly shit. Bro. Hey, bro. I will impale you with a chicken leg. You can impale me all you though. want, dog. And I will fucking flog you with a fucking limp tender. Flog me. Yeah. You and your porn terms need to get the fuck out of here. I don't think flog is a porn term. Yes, I think flog is. is more of like a... a flogging a, is definitely a porn term. No, flogging is like a battle term. No, flogging is like... It's a wartime term. No, it's... you. Whip Have you a, ever been you, flogged, bruh? No, but you whip a bitch's <laughs> ass with a flogger. Like, they make <laughs> sex toys for this. No, no so bruh. Shit, when you're bruh. being tortured in the medieval times, that's when you get flogged. All right, bro. You're taking shit way too draw, seriously, bro. Draw a flog. You could probably make a flogger with chicken tenders from uh Chick-fil-A, You know how you make bro. chickens more tender? With a flog. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Look. Oh, my God. <laughs> speaking about the tenders, bro. I want to make a massage parlor with real women for the massage. You're not even listening, bro. You can laugh your ass off. Popeyes is gonna win, all right? We're not we're not we can't there's no two ways about that, bro. Al Copeland's been dead, bro. So what? His chicken Have you lives seen the on. Commercials? That chick that's doing them commercials ain't from Louisiana, bro. No, she's from Trinidad. I already looked it up. Well, good, because she needs to fucking go back to Trinidad, and we need to get some local flavor like a hood rat up in that motherfucking I need to go back to Trinidad, bro. I've been wanting to go back to that place since forever. I've never been, but I want to go. Oh, it was fucking wonderful, bro. I can't even get into it. So look, check this out. Check this out. Yes, you can. Tell everybody about your trip. It was work related. I'm crying over here. I know. That's great, bro. Hopefully they are, too. But look, listen. 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 Are you listening? I would be if my fucking headphones... Ah! See, better now. All right, are you, are you good? Ah! Make a noise. It don't have nothing to do with making a noise. No, are it you really... Good? Are you good? It really does. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool, bro. All right. So, all right, th- this is my idea. 
It's like you got fucking Tourette's. Are you good, bro? I'm trying to get it to work in both ears. I'm good. Well, I can hear it in the right ear. Deal with one and stop screaming at me while all I right, try to fucking right. say I'm shit. Fine, bro. All right, look. I want to have a massage parlor with real women for the massage and a mechanical something for the happy ending. That way it's not prostitution. And okay. I still get paid like a pimp. Right. I feel that. I think that's a great idea. And I think the way to get around any regulations is to do, um, like, use a traditional massage table, right? So yeah. that your back is being serviced by the human and your front is being serviced under the table by the robot. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I'd buy that service in a heartbeat. They can't put us out of business. Like, Can it, can it be more of, like, a blowjob as opposed to a hand job? Um, maybe it can be sponsored by Fleshlight. Can I have a human operate it? No, that's probably too close to the uh, fine gray line in the sand. So it has to be mechanical. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, if it's mechanical, then it's not prostitution. Remember? We established this in a previous episode. You're right. Robo whores. Robo pimp. Yeah, robo pimp. That's yeah. right. I remember that. Yeah, dude, I fucking, you, you're just a fucking, you're a bundle of ideas tonight. I know. We need to get up on that. Yeah, bro. dude. First of all, I know women that are willing, able, and talented at giving legitimate back massages, even when somebody's dick is hanging out that they can't see. That they can't see. Yeah. It could be a dick in a huge box, right? A dick in a box. The whole table is a box. It doesn't matter the size of the box. The whole the table is a box. The dick's underneath the table. Yeah. The dick is never... It's, it's, they don't even see it. It's like when you go to New York and you see a building, and then you don't even know that underneath the fucking ground is a whole other building. Yeah, there you go. All right, so uh, we're in agreement on that, dude. Let's fucking market this thing. Well, you're a drafter, bro. You need to you need to draw up the table that's going to accommodate all this. I used to be a drafter. Okay, well, uh, you still got the skills, bro, so... I do. Help me pay these bills. Yeah, yeah, that's no problem. I mean, I think that's the easiest of, of any of our... I think they probably have those tables. Like, I've seen porns, bro, and they have tables where you can stick your ween out the bottom of them. Yeah, that's a lot of, uh... It's a lot of hanky-panky going on. Sort of. Well, like and if robotic not... robotic hanky-panky. If not... So one of the one of the services that I offer in my VIP package is a <clears throat> uh, uh, what do you call it? I really haven't thought of so like mobile masseuse, right? So we'll have a masseuse come to you, Roger, and give you a massage. They'll come with their massage table, yeah, and their licensed masseuse, uh, masseuses, masseuse. That's licensed hilarious. Masseuse. It's like Doctor Seuss, right? I gotta, I gotta I'm a Dr. Seuss. I have to talk to these people. Anyway, uh, and then so that's one of the services that we offer a la carte, right? So after like a third party service. So once they're in 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 the in the space, if they want a massage, they can contact us. We will, as a concierge, reach out and accommodate them. For sure. Um, what I'm getting at with that is that I'll have access to a, mo- a plethora. I know how much you how much you love when I use the word cornucopia and plethora, yeah. mm-hmm. so I've, I'll use those as often as possible. Okay, um, thanks. Appreciate that. But yeah, dude, it's as simple as like just like a, a skill saw to cut out like a wiener hole. Yeah. Can I call them whores, or is that a bit much? Can we ask them to dress in cellophane? Yeah, I'll be like, what up? How what? Wait, let me get it. Wait, wait, wait. Check it out. Hoo! That's you, the one. That was so effective that you just kicked my audio out. Awesome. Hoo! Nope, didn't even come back. Hello. All right, I'm back now. It's like it's like the Sopranos or something. Hoo! Hoo! You're a hoo! Hoo! All right, just wanted to say that piece right there. Yeah, that's great, bro. Um, so I, I I meant to tell you this story. This dude I know, he had a situation. He uh. That's serious, bro. This dude walked in on his chick and another dude, all right? Yeah. She claimed right then and there to him, like she's yelling this shit to him, according to what he's telling me. Yeah. She says she was asleep and the dude raped her. Oh, 
we got big problems. Well, I was about to ask you, what would you do? Cause Murder the dude right there. I already heard what happened down there, and I don't want to get into it. Do I have a like weapon a, on me? or a is legal it? situation. He didn't have nothing on him. Yeah, i just, like, strangle him out. He might have had a pocket knife or some shit. Choke him out immediately. So you immediately believe the girl I immediately choke him leap out. on the male, the, the, the male, yeah. Yeah? That sounded gay. Yeah, because um, he's, he's naked. probably naked. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. care. His dick's flopping around. I'm fucking going straight for it. I'm just going to choke him out. It's it's going to take, like, five seconds. You're going to choke him out, and then what? Slap her, probably. Yeah? Choke him out so that you eliminate the threat, and then address her, and be like, you stupid bitch. I mean, yeah, like, I need answers <clears throat> before he fucking gains consciousness. What if he's smacking a rape victim? That'd be kind of fucked up. How do you explain that to I'm the not, Okay, I take that. I'm not going to smack her. I'll be like, yo... Okay, I take the whole thing back. There's no telling, Dave. I mean, yeah, hypothetically, he's choked out fucking after I did like a barrel roll over the bed, like dodge three stabs and like two bullets, you know? like Were you like, hi-ya! I did. I karate chopped, flew in with a knee. It was dope as fuck. Hi-ya! 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 <laughs> and so, and so, and so, and so, and so, you know, so, so I landed in like, in full full side control and he like i said he was out within like four to five seconds all right so you're what you would do immediately is believe her choke him out and then what now he's passed out and it's her and she's obviously still playing the victim maybe she's not the victim that's what that's all i'm getting at like what if you know what I'm saying? Okay, fine. You know what? I mean, if I was honestly thinking, if I had my wits about me, I would just, I would back up and call the cops. Yeah. Probably the best thing to do would be like, y'all come sort this shit out because I don't want to go to jail. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I'm finna catch a charge. Please come do your thing. Yeah, that's it. Hey, bro, let's do a shot. Let's. Jesus. Let's. Can Holy we? crap, holy. I swear. Woo! What have we been thinking? We haven't been. You got it poured out already, so I'm I'm down for it. We just been talking, bro. <clears throat> so much talking. Nothing but the greatest fireball is what we're sipping on this evening. We're classy fellas. Yeah, mad classy. It came out of a plastic bottle. That's how classy we are. We we keeps it real. I mean, at least authentic. Um, authentico. Authentico. You know what's great about uh the word authentic? Authentico hmm. is that there is no H, it's authentico. Oh. Right? Thanks for that. Authentico. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah, authentico. Thank, thank authentico. you for that. Yeah, see. Reloaded 504 ians out there, raise your glass. Authentico. For, raise your glass for Eddie Money. Eddie Money, two tickets to paradise. That Thank guy. You. Why did he pass? Yeah, man. Oh, man, rest he in peace. He died. Man. Rest in peace, Eddie Money. Hey, Eddie Money. Hey, Eddie, Eddie Money. Eddie, Eddie Money. Money. Eddie He's Money. authentical. Go Two easy. tickets to paradise. Go easy, son. Won't you? Tip it up. Take it take and eat It's like syrup, son. Ah. <clears throat> yeah, any money, rest in peace, big dog. Yeah, man. All right, well, you know what that means, young Todd. I do. What does that mean, young Todd? That means, well, it's time. It's Rochambeau. It's Rochambeau time. So won't you meet me? Yeah, Rochambeau. The wheel of shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ja, 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 two, four, six, Everybody out there, if you're new to the show, every time we take a shot, we have to face the wheel of shit. Ooh. It's a finely constructed contraption, Ooh. and um, it's got a disc on it, and uh, on that disc are subjects like uh, drugs, friends, mm, you know. The uncomfortable family, stuff. Family, yeah, all these things that you don't want to talk about, and um, we have to talk about whenever that subject went to shit. So we spin the wheel, it lands, subject, wheel of shit. That's what's happening. Yep. We got a Rochambeau to see who has to face the wheel of shit. So yep. 
Let's get down to the business, let's, shall we? Let's do. <clears throat> let's do it. Look at me in my eyes, motherfucker. So I don't Dave know cheating, thinks bro. that I have this. So I am. You I'm, were, bro. So, do you so, know the first? The first time I told you, look at me in my eyes, you lost. Mere coincidence, Dave. Yeah. Mere coincidence. Mere. I don't like that word. Mere cat coincidence. Exactly. Mere like cat coincidence. Either. You ready? I, let's Rochambeau. Don't try to rush me, bro. Let's Rochambeau. Don't try. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. All right, eye, eye contact. Yep. Eye contact. Yep. All right, let's go. Can you even see my fist? Rochambeau. I don't think you can. Yes, I can. <laughs> let's do it. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Got you, bitch. <laughs> I got you, motherfucker. <laughs> That's right. I got you, motherfucker. Uh, fine, fine. I got this has you, become like a highly personal thing. I, yes, I see. it has. It's, I see. it's become a, a really serious, touchy point because all right, all you right. were fucking cheating. I now. was not cheating. I'm starting just, to win. I'm really good. That's I'm what's really... up. Dave is the champion. <laughs> I'm <friend>. really good. <laughs> I'm really Dave good. Dave keeps uh, on fighting. You see what I just did Rochambeau there? You see what I did? The end. All right. So it looks like I landed on job. That's weird. God damn. I don't have those. Uh so I mean I don't know, bro. So I guess I'm gonna So I think I broke a record for having the most job turnover in a year, probably. Like maybe twelve jobs, I think. Get the fuck out of here. I mean, I don't know. I'd have to ask Jody, but I mean, it was like at least what six to eight, uh, pro- you know. Like, I mean, it was a lot of fucking jobs in a very short amount of time. It was crazy. I what can't up, explain. Joe, it. Joe, 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 Joe. Yeah, dude, it was crazy. I can't explain it. Like, people ask me what happened, and I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I turned like retarded. I don't know. Like, I told you that fucking cat ninja up on us, bro. Well, I was not hallucinating. That's different. The last time he was over there. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, I'm just going to keep it short and sweet, bro. I really don't have anything to say. I was literally fired or laid off from, like, at least a half a dozen jobs. Each one not lasting three months. And I don't have, a, I don't have an explanation. That's got to be, like, the biggest pain in the ass ever. And this was, like, n- like inf- it was common knowledge to all my friends and family, my loved ones. Everybody knew it. And, like, it, it's just a weird, weird phenomenon that occurred in my life. I mean, it worked out, but super- You make it sound like supernatural, uncontrollable bullshit, bro. Everybody's it's convinced, like you included, that, like, I was the root, right? And you would think that I would be the root, right? You had to have... Played some role in Obviously. it, bro. What do you and think? I would it's say like, I would say this to Jody every time. I'm like, "What the fuck am I doing?" And like, I, I, like attitude, bro. Attitude. I'm so. You probably walked in, but you walked up in a job like. Oh, I'm I so PC. I'm so PC correct. I'm so here. yes sir. I'm so no sir. Like I'm so yes ma'am, no ma'am. Like only do I cross you if you cross me first. Like I'm. You had some strategic shit going on, bro. Like you broke it down. With, like you had a you had a dude called a swisher that was swishing coffee and you hated it and you were saying shit under your breath and you dude. started asking around the fucking office about how other people deal with him. That dude got that you. That was murked, probably bro. my demise. That dude got you murked. He, that dude was like, look, did. I've been he here did. for like twenty years. Yeah. This dude's got to go. For real. He and heard then, me and mocking then you him. got you got into it with a fucking crippled dude and a Russian at another place and Jesus then, Christ. I, I still fuck that cripple up. I say I'm waiting to see him. I'm waiting to see the dude. Reload a five oh four ends y'all gonna have to backtrack a couple of episodes or uh catch one of our promos on Instagram but um yeah, I'm not. Homeboy I'm not. Todd was like ready to beat down a cripple dude. Still am ready. And his justification was, dude fucked with his money. Like heavy, heavy so, fuck with my, fuck with my career, dog. That's a moral dilemma right there. Not y'all, a moral you know, dilemma. I don't give a fuck do? about his shortcomings. What would y'all do? What would y'all do? What would you do, bro? You take food off my plate. Yeah. I don't care about if you have short arms, bro. Exactly. You know. You got dealt a bad hand through your gene pool, and now you're fucking with my. Money? I don't know, bro. Yeah, it became personal. Yeah, I guess so, bro. Um, I didn't make it personal. He made it personal. The uh, the shit's all over the news right now, Fuck bro. Him. About fucking CBD oil deaths uh, with the vape pens yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. I meant crazy. to ask you. Uh, 
I feel like it's a fucking conspiracy, bro. Like, I, I, right? I, okay, Obviously. I will admit that um, something's going on. People are dying. They're not just making this shit up. But it's been like a week and a half at this point while we're recording this. Um, it's been like a week and a half, two weeks. They've been reporting on this shit. They still haven't given up any brand names. They finally said 78% of them were uh, THC oil related right, right. vape deaths. N- now, let me ask you After this. After a week and a half, two weeks, they finally say, um, this is the one factor that they all have in common. Right. So, okay. So, the, you know more about this topic than I do. I really um, don't. I'm trying to figure it out. Well, yeah, Hopefully then I guess. So, too. unfortunately, I don't know too much about it, but I did hear similar reports to what you're saying. Like, so they've narrowed it down to most of them are like THC related um, as far as like the vapor products, um, which is weird because like I use the THC vapor products and I love them. They're awesome. Like, the best way to do it like on vacation you know what i'm saying like um like on the beach you can get ridiculously high and nobody has any idea it's so good um, this might be the last time i ever see you again bro oh why you think i'm going uh you might die oh no yeah no well i mean i don't have any yeah that's true i could die from that but i don't know you better cap that off for a minute i like to live day yeah i'll cap it off for now because i respect my life but um, I really do think that it I don't want to say that President Trump is is gotten to my head, but I really have like a lack of trust of the media already. And and so I don't take anything that they say seriously or at least I don't first of all, if it doesn't agree with my po- with my uh like the with my thoughts, then I'm going to say it it, it can go fuck itself until I think otherwise, you know, until I find out otherwise. It's kind of closed minded, though, bro. Like, really? Well, no, because I just know that. I mean, yeah, hundred percent, it's closed minded. Yeah. And, and and I'm I'm being, you know, I've had a little bit to drink, and I think that I'm being like overly aggressive in this because I'm not like so. Yeah, no. Um, <gasps> what the fuck, bro? They got fucking ghost cats in here, bro. The cat's throwing its voice. Yeah, I don't know, man. So if people are dying from the vapes, I'm sure that's going to like lead to people dying because it's a new, new thing. Dude, I told you earlier. I was like, you know what? If it was uh, baby formula or some shit, they'd be like, look, it's uh, Similac. It's uh, the purple flavor. Um, everybody take it off the shelves. Don't buy it. Like, right. None of that. We don't have any of that information. And you know there's been enough deaths to like – find a common thread and that's but see dave i think that's part of the problem i think that is the common problem is that that's so the fucking telling tale right there listen that listen everybody let, knows they me, ain't giving us the whole truth well hold on bro hold on so so the difference you know i i hate you know what i really i hate the term comparing apples to oranges because but anyway i i hate to compare apples to oranges but baby formula is regulated by the fda yeah, well, so is uh, vape supposed to be. But vape is not regulated not, by. Yes, it is, but they're not paying attention. Yes. Okay, well, but every it's, consumable is supposed to be regulated by. Well, the if FDA. that was the case, then we would have documentation of you know who who these parties are that are that are in violation. But if that's not the case, well, then that means that regulation is not taking place, which means documentation is not taking place, which means that standards are not being kept or upheld. Which means that the system is broken down. So I, I don't trust Obviously any of it. Sick of, the system's definitely broken down, bro. Well, I mean, that just tells me not to trust it. So yeah, if, I don't they trust s- none of if they either. say things are in order, and fuck and the man, fuck the man, fuck the man, one hundred percent, bro. Fuck the man. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, dude, I will echo that echo a hundred thousand percent. Fuck the fuck man. The man. <laughs> fuck the man. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so uh, I don't know. That's a bunch of rigmarole, raff, and what have you, dude. I um, so I recently went through the process of obtaining an LLC. Yeah. And so I I don't know if you're familiar with the process. Uh, I did it like uh ten years ago. It okay. Was totally different, I'm sure. Probably different, but so everybody I talked to was like. Yeah, yeah, it's no problem. It's just going to cost you a little bit of money. You know, you got to hire an attorney, this, that, and the other, bro. It's, right, right. Uh, it, is that the 
what you know about it? Or that's what I did. It was like five bills, bro. Jeez, bro. See that? Okay, okay, okay. So that's what, I'm glad that I brought this up. Then. So, so I recently I recently filed or formed an LLC, and after like doing research, so like the internet basically doesn't they're they're it's shady about the information they give you. They try to, and it's attorneys. It's like a ter- it's it's legal firms that are trying to make you think they're trying to make you think that you have to pay more than you have to pay. And of that course, you, dude, you. Did not have to hire an attorney. You did not have to pay over thirty five dollars. Any of that shit, bro. Like yeah, so, yeah. I basically like, uh, like I don't want to say that I hacked like LLCs <laughs> in Louisiana, but like I figured out how to get an LLC with up for under fifty bucks. No shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, it there is none, there's no information like that on the internet. I will I will um, say this to my benefit, I guess you would say, or in my defense. Um, when I did it 10 years ago, there was like no legal Zoom or anything like that. There was, yeah. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't You don't have to defend yourself because information is still fucking hard to come by. Like yeah. it really is. Like I stumbled on the shit and like ended up talking to the right people. And like it, and if you don't have the information, you wouldn't know. Because everybody steers you to the wrong information. It's one of those things. Trying to use the state's website these days is fucking retarded. When Always, it comes to that. yeah. When it, whenever it's a bureaucratic website, it's gonna be fucking bullshit. No but, shit. <clears throat> um, anyway, I, I bring that up because I think that's something that people may be interested in knowing. Uh, you know, moving forward, like I certainly would have loved to had had it explained to me. Like in a in a step by step basis, because it really is that simple and that cheap. Like you don't have to. It's free. I think that you should offer that to our listeners if they get in touch with us. One hundred percent. Yeah, that's You're what I'm saying. To give is that, that away I'm, free. I'm willing to give that information away for free in a in a uh, in a Udemy tutorial. Um, or oh, check it out. Uh, Reloaded five zero four at yahoo dot com or five zero four four five seven eighty eleven. Get in touch with us. He could part that, impart that information to you free of charge. Absolutely, man. Um, I don't know how you would segue into this, but I wanted to talk about the time I punched a kid in the face in class at in, in middle school. Yeah, man. Uh, the easiest way to segue into that is, dude... The fuck! I didn't even really know you in middle school at all. Like, yeah, I, I don't didn't know. even not. When I was making this list, it wasn't in like order of operations. Yeah. it was like random thoughts. Consider the transition made. So okay. tell us all about it. Um, <clears throat> I was sitting at the back of the class. Uh, homeboy was sitting at the front was of the class. Was this your first fight? I think so. I mean, what grade? Sixth grade. Um, like I didn't have no fights in sixth school. grade. Middle school. I was so friendly with everybody. I think middle school is like seventh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. So that's when like you're starting to get like a little bit of testosterone. I guess so, bro. I was sitting in the back of the class. Homeboy was sitting in the front of the class, and um, he was kind of a smart dude, you know. And I guess he said some shit that pissed me off out loud, like you know, trying to clown me or something. Or, like or, nice hair. Dork. A fucking no, it wasn't nothing like that. It was like I said something in class out loud, which I never did, you know, contributing to the fucking lesson plan. Yeah. And uh he was I guess like, he, ah. he guess he challenged it or something like that, yeah. you know? Yeah. Oh, so yeah, I cause... was like, This motherfucker here. All right, bro, I got your number. So um That's class... like that was your first taste of like what what do you call that? Like when I don't your know. territory is like contested. I don't know. That's what that was. That was your first taste of like, I guess. oh, no, you didn't. I'm about to yeah. fuck you up, dog. Yeah. Like, really? Yeah. I don't think you know. Dude, I sat through the whole class waiting for class to end. Plotting, so dog. Plotting. Thinking yeah. about how you're going to fuck this dude up. No, I didn't have no plan. I was like, I'm walking right up to that fucking dude. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, But just, you, you, I'm sure you were thinking about it the whole time. Yeah. Like, yeah, like yeah, homeboys burned Homeboys me, finna bro. get a fucking knuckle sandwich. You fucking pissed me off, bro. So <laughs> the bell rings. Class is letting out. The teacher's standing by the classroom door. Everybody else is just about gone, and he's collecting his whatever. 
And I just walk right up to him, look, just look him right in the eye, and I was like, here you go, bro. Bow! <laughs> Fucking, he, had, he wore glasses, uh-huh. knocked those off his face. Well, I mean. And the glasses hit the floor, and, well, that's you know, when the host he grabbed his going, face. Ah! He grabbed his face, and then he looked at me. And I'll never forget that look, bro. Yeah, like, I, immediately, I felt like, oh, man, yeah. my bad. <laughs> really? It was yeah. like that? There was yeah. empathy? Yeah. All of a sudden it was empathy because just the, the look that he gave me was like, I don't know. It wasn't like terror. It wasn't horror. It was like, oh, Why? man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like immediately I knew that there, there, was, there was no contest here and like I just victimized this dude. Okay. And I never forgot that look, you know, and I, yeah. I, I always like thought – once, twice, three times before I ever got in a fight because some, of that look, bro. That's some forward thinking shit for a young fella, bro. I guess, man. I was just, I don't know, man. It made me feel bad immediately. I don't know. It's good. It means you're, you're for the most part, at least clinically, not psychopathic. Yeah, that's right. I'm not. So there's that. Thanks. At least going for you. Thanks. Yeah, I do have that, dude. I, I do have that going for me. You're not lying. I yeah. appreciate that, yeah. and um, I guess that's... Uh, well, it's important. You know. Yeah. It's important in, in today's today's uh, today's culture, today's environment. Yeah. My, um, my next topic of discussion uh, was actually a, a top three list. Let's, let's rip through that fucker. Dude. 504. Yeah. Top three, son. Yeah. What I'm talking about, homie. All right. Yeah, bro. This is uh, top three inventions. I came up with three inventions that I think would hit it off. So, Reloaded 504 ends. I do not have copyrights on these. If you want, take them. Just mail me a check. You know, a few bucks. That's all good. Gas money. I'm grateful. All right, number one, and I believe in this wholeheartedly, the Pico Pop. Pico Pop? I love Pico de Gallo. I love pico as well. I love pico de gallo so much I could sit there and eat a bowl of it. That's a little extreme. Um, I want to take pico de gallo, yep. roll, freeze it in, in like a popsicle form, Ooh. roll it in cornmeal, and then flash fry it so that it's still cold in the center, but it's got like this fried outside, like fried ice cream. Yep. And bam, pico pop, bro. You don't think that... Okay, okay. We could test it out at a fair because they fry everything. I'm trying to fall in love with the idea because I love pico as well. And I also love the idea of flash frying anything because hot on the outside and crispy on the outside. How does somebody flash fry something? Is that like just super hot oil and you dip it in and dip it out real quick? Yeah. So could we do that here? Yeah. Oh, awesome. All you need is a skillet. Which we have. Yeah. Cast iron. Dip. No, 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 no. You got to dip it in oil, boiling oil. Well, you would need a cast iron, like, pot. You but know what I'm not saying? not a skillet. Not, because that's a frying pan. We need something. Something with deep. depth. Right. There you go. Yeah, All yeah. Right. 100%. All right, cool. Well, I feel like if both of us attack that Actually, idea, then we won't catch anything on fire, including yeah. ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, with modern technology and, and kitchenware... <clears throat> Uh, we can do this without murdering any of our skin. That's awesome. Yeah. I would appreciate not murking my skin. Yeah. All right, number two on the top three inventions list is a laser crisper. What so, are you crisping? So um, whatever you want. So like you have this thing that's like a rotisserie, a standing rotisserie mm-hmm. um, cabinet, very short <coughs> uh, uh, countertop situation. Right. Yeah. And uh, you put whatever you want in there to be crisped. Crisped. <laughs> crisped. Crisped. <laughs> but doesn't a lighter do that? No, check it out. So you put whatever you want crisped mm-hmm. in there. Mm-hmm. So like then, maybe like a leg of duck. There you go. A leg of duck, right? Stab it on the thing. Close the door. Deed, 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 press the buttons. And then bam, they got a laser they got a no. It's not a like a violent transaction, bro. It's a laser that's lighting up the fucking. The, what'd you say? The perimeter. Leg of duck. The leg of duck. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, it's like a long laser that's lighting up your leg of duck, 
while the leg of duck is rotating and the laser is just crisping the outside for you. So it basically just goes through with like a sear and it just goes like, yeah, Psh! it just sears the outside. Yeah. As it rotates. As it rotates. So you got it's this like long, <laughs> wide razor. Yeah. With a laser. So what happens if you like... You probably need like tinted glasses to use it. Yeah. Or put your finger in there while it's lasering. No, don't do that. There's going to be safety measures intact, bro. There's got to be. <clears throat> I, I like wanna, it. I just... I want to do shit with lasers. I think that's an interesting one, Brian. But has this technology been realized yet absolutely we can blast motherfuckers out to sea with lasers right now bro out to sea yeah out of the sea out of the sea what does that mean um they're floating and then all of a sudden pshaw, they're not they're like <clears throat> because lasers cooked them yeah people can totally get cooked by lasers as of present day the technology it currently exists Dude, you know, for the longest time, I wondered why they spelled laser with a fucking S. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's such a good sound. That's the sound that, dude, that's the exact sound that my body makes when I bust nuts. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. You're like Godzilla <laughs> it, or something. Can you hit it again, please, so the people know? Um, I feel <laughs> dirty now. I know, I know. Should I? Yes, you should, dog. Oh, my God, I just came. Oh, God, I'm fucking coming all over the place. Oh, fuck. My bad, dog. All right, that's horrible, bro. That's enough of that shit. <laughs> oh, that was fucking good. That was, that was good. All right, anyway, bro. Number three on the <laughs> top three inventions list is a laser lawnmower. What's up with your fucking lasers, bro? I don't know. I just feel like it's the wave of the future, and they're, they're very interesting. Bro. Uh, they are. A laser lawnmower. Mm-hmm. So uh, you have a lawnmower, and instead of uh, that blade it. that swings around, you got lasers underneath there, and it just it crops the tops off of all your blades of grass with lasers. Why not just do this? You just set it's up silent like the Tesla you keep sucking the dick of, bro. Oh my God, Gary V, do you hear this shit? Every yeah. anything that I endorse, I'm sucking dicks of. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, did you hear the sun is like really bright next week? Dave, oh yeah, well you want to talk about the sun since you're sucking the sun's dick this week? <laughs> well that was clever, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's, what the fuck, what, what are you like? I'm listening. Hats off and me. Did you just say you were going to murder me? No, like, I just realized that we're at an hour. Oh my God, you're time Nazi. I am a time Nazi. Fine. This fucking episode is over. This episode is about to be over. We love y'all, Reload of 504 ins We'll be back. Come visit us. Not me. I'm done. Peace, peace, peace. Getting high.